And it's a great honor for me to ask you to welcome my great friend, Freddie Roman. <laughs> I thank you. I thank you, Elaine. Elaine's been introducing me for a lot of years. It was, it was a true thing that when you worked at Grossinger's, no show ever started without a member of the Grossinger family to introduce you. And Elaine is done. It was, it was a true thing that when, it's always a joy to come back here to Stanley and Barbara and Forrest Trace. I love it. I, I watched you all eating in the dining room. <laughs> According to the chef, there's 12,000 people living here. <laughs> I never saw anything like it. You guys didn't miss a course. <laughs> and rightfully so. It is a, it's so much fun. I, I always love to start off my show with a story, and this is one of my favorites. Couple married 48 years. The lady gets sick and she passes away. The funeral service is over. The pallbearers lift up the coffin and start to walk out. The coffin hits the wall. From inside the coffin you hear, oh my God. It was a miracle, the lady lived. She lived another four years, got sick again, and died again. Funeral service is over, the pallbearers lift up the coffin, start to walk out. The husband yells, watch out for the wall. <laughs> But three quarters, three quarters of these drug commercials all deal with this horrible, terrible affliction that we have in America today. A man's erectile dysfunction. It all started with Viagra, the little blue pill, which I adore. Oh, I do, I take one every night. It keeps me from rolling out of bed at night. <laughs> watching CNN the other night, the story came across that I still don't believe. You know who's resurfaced again? See if you remember him. John Wayne Bobbitt. He is looking for the knife that his wife used on him and he wants to sell it on eBay. You all remember the story? His wife, the Venezuelan Moyle. In a fit of anger, she cut off his penis. And here's the part I love. She got into her car and started driving around with it. Until she got bored and threw it out the car window. What she did not know is before it hit the ground, it hit the windshield of another car. The guy was driving, turned to his wife and said, ooh, look at the size of the schmeckle on that bug on the windshield. She gets home and she feels terrible about what she did. She calls the police. Hello, I was on Route 58. I was about 14 miles outside of the city. It was a heavily rural area. It was pouring rain, and I threw my husband's penis out the car window. <laughs> Within one hour, the police found this little Hebrew national. <laughs> what I don't understand is, Jimmy Hoffa's been missing for 50 years. <laughs> he should have died with his fly open. <laughs> it's amazing to me, but it's true. There is only one southern state that is different from the rest. Florida. Because Florida is no longer a southern state. Florida is a suburb of anywhere cold. <laughs> Here's what happened to Florida. Nice old people from the north got older and colder. They said, we're going to Florida. The exodus began down I-95. Covered wagons with mink coats flying. <laughs> These nice normal people got to Florida, something happened to them. They became wackos. Why else would an entire state go out for dinner four o'clock in the afternoon? <laughs> The early bird special. 
The state bird of Florida is the early bird. <laughs> then I realized, wait a minute, the early bird, what a smart idea. Why should Jews pay $10 more for the same piece of chicken just because it's dark out? <laughs> so they go for the early bird, but they plan that day. They get up for breakfast, 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Lunch is a quarter to eight. Four o'clock, they're ready to kill. So I know all about Florida. My parents moved down here so many years ago. They were here two weeks. I called my dad. I said, how do you like retirement? He said, I love it. Why didn't you tell me to do it before? Two weeks later, I called. He said, get me the hell out of here. I said, why? He said, I'm married to your mother 48 years. I'm retired four weeks. In these four weeks, I talked more to that woman than I did in 48 years. I have nothing left to say to her. <laughs> and they come to Florida, and you've got to be in the waiting room at the Miami, West Palm Beach, or Fort Lauderdale airports the day the grandchildren arrive. Thousands of grandparents are sitting there waiting, tightening their nails, waiting for those planes to land. Finally, the plane lands, the grandchildren get off that plane. Now remember, they haven't seen their grandparents in a year. And everyone in that waiting room looks exactly the same. <laughs> well, turn around. <laughs> it could take them a week to find their grandparents. Finally, they find them and their grandparents hug them, squeeze them, pinch them, and kiss them and are thrilled to see them for about an hour. <laughs> then, then the truth comes out. These little bastards are gonna be here two weeks. <laughs> what are we gonna do with them for two weeks? <laughs> so the next morning you see little grandmas with their little grandchildren, they go into every supermarket, it's an activity. First we'll go to Publix, then we'll go to Windex. <laughs> If you're a good little boy, we'll go to Costco and get 4,000 rolls of toilet paper. Do you know people that shop in Costco for toilet paper? Pray for diarrhea. They have no room in the closet. Normally, normally at this point in my act, Normally, if I was uh, in the Catskill Mountains or <laughs> Las Vegas, Atlantic City, anywhere, normally I would walk off or behind, oh, I'm talking into the water. <laughs> you know what's bothering me? Yeah. That was the biggest laugh of my act, and I don't know. Chenda. Any Italian people here? A salute per cenda. To 100 years, which is lovely, unless you're 99. <laughs> then it's a lousy toast. I'm married uh, 50, going to be 54 years. Thank you. Wonderful lady named Ethel. We, we got married, God believe, 54 years ago. And there wasn't a bad day in that 54 years. There were a few lousy nights. <laughs> but not a bad day. And it's so much fun in this business when you travel the way we did. And you have fun the way we did. And you watched other comedians work. And I love everybody that ever made anyone laugh. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little hazerick. <laughs>